Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakodash. Yahweh being the true name of the Most High, by Hashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai being the true name of who the world calls Jesus. All right, uh, Rakakodash means Holy Spirit. That was in the true Hebrew language. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the hopeful elect. All right, uh, this video, uh, article, this article with a video in it, it says, Tennessee deputies hold man down while probing his anus after smelling marijuana. Okay, you can watch the video on your own, you know, uh, 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 Caucasian hatred against the so-called Negro, you know, that's what it is. But uh, initially, I wasn't going to do a lesson on this video, but, you know, on this article, because I just watched the video. But then, I, you know, I just re I started reading the article and it started getting epic, you know. So I'll, uh, I'll read some of the article, all right. Uh, mm, I'm gonna jump down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, okay. It says the deputies claimed the man James Myron Mitchell became combative, which in police terminology can mean anything from questioning and arrest to becoming combative, but usually just means they were the ones that became combative, right? And that's how, you know, the Caucasian does. They got all this terminology, and they got all these uh, laws where they be so broad, all right? They'll be very broad, and you can fit people in there based off what they what they call it, you know? Look, he, look, combative. Now, let's look up what combative mean, man. Let's just look up and see what combative mean. All right, because they said combative can mean anything from questioning your arrest. Like, why why are you arrested? Or they can just throw that terminology on you. Okay, combative, ready or eager to fight, pugnacious, aggressive, antagonistic, quarrelsome, argumentative, contentious, hostile, truculent, threatening, belligerent, bellicose, militant, warlike. War and then they throw that argumentative in there, contentious. Look, man, combative, the root word of combative, combative is combat, all right? So ready or eager to fight, that's what it means, all right? But then they throw, they, they throw these terminologies and these, these, uh, these, these, these broad spectrums in these range, so they can just, they, they can do anything they want to do, you know? And this is a... Uh, Isaiah 10 and 1, it says, uh, it says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay? And that's what they do, man. That's what, that's what these laws do to, to further uh, 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 vilify and criminalize uh, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. Back to this, uh, okay. The deputies claimed the man James Myron Mitchell became combative, which in police terminology can mean anything from questioning an arrest to becoming combative, but usually just means they were the ones that became combative. In this case, the police definition of combative is to squeeze and grab a man's crotch repeatedly until he flinches in pain and protest. That happened in a video I saw it. You can see it with your own eyes. It says, which is when they take him down and beat him off camera for four minutes. That happened as well. After the beating, they lift him back up onto the hood and hold him down while one of them remove his pants and probes his anal cavity as cars whiz by and the man's female companion, who was driving a car, sitting on the ground handcuffed, witnessing the abuse. And that happened too. All right. The deputies claimed their efforts paid off because they found 1.6 grams of crack, cocaine, in addition to the bag of weed, which probably has a combined street value of less than $100 now. You not our people, our people wicked too. You ain't supposed to be out there uh, uh doing drugs. You're not supposed to be out there selling drugs, but you see the the double standard when it deals with a, a so-called negro dealing with drugs and a so-called caucasian with the opioids. All right? When uh it was the war on drugs with with the with the when the so-called crack 
epidemic popped out. But now it's the when with the whole opioid, it's oh we have to we have to do something. We have to save uh, uh our people. Um, they're they're dying. They're 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 depressed. You know, it's a it's a double standard. Okay. It says, and who was to say they didn't plant the crack because who the hell drives around with crack in their ass? Right, they just had a police officer in Florida, a deputy, where the, the state had to turn had to re return over uh, over a hundred cases because he was it was uh proven that he planted evidence in over a hundred and I believe it was 118 arrests. So it, it uh don't be all you know for the Caucasians out there, don't be all uh all dumbstruck. All right, police do this. All right, now I'm gonna jump down. Okay, uh, Wilkie, the deputy who could not keep his hands off Mitchell's crotch, has been named in two previous lawsuits over incidents when he was a Rhea County Sheriff's deputy just north of Hamilton County according to the to the Times Free Press. In the first incident, he was sued for killing a man named Stephen Lee Buddy Howe by shooting him in the head at point-blank range after they had detained him inside a hospital. So detained, meaning he was restricted, uh, more than likely handcuffed, inside of a hospital. So they probably beat him he had to take him to the hospital, or whatever the case is, he couldn't have been no threat because he was in the hospital, all right? That case was settled out of court, so they lost. You was, you, the case was settled out of court, indirectly, you, you was guilty, all right? You, you, uh, the case being settled out of court, you may or may not have to go on stand and say you were guilty, but that proved that you was, you was found in the wrong, all right? So this is... Uh, Ezekiel 35. Ezekiel 35. Uh, because Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Perpetual. Long duration, antiquity, futurity. Forever. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. So the man uh, detained, the man handcuffed, the man in the hospital, you know. But that wasn't enough for you. You had to shoot and you had to uh, you had to uh, kill him, man. Verse 6, Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. See, thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Okay. Uh, Obadiah 1 and verse 10. It says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. All right. Verse 15. For the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. A heathen is anybody that's not an Israelite. The Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And any uh, 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 nation that may look like a, a Caucasian, a Asian, a East Indian, if they see land go back to the children of Israel, regardless of their appearance, they're Israelite. It says, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. And, 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 and this is where... We get a uh, 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 long term, well, not we, but and this is where the, the Caucasian gets long term memory loss when dealing with the concept of karma. All right. With the slavery and, 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 and the killings and the, the rapes and the robs and, the, and, the, and it still goes on today. All right. Uh, they are like the death adder, you know, they, they won't hear it. All right. Uh, I was watching an old uh, video from uh, the teachers at One West. It, um, uh, one of the, the speaker told this young, this young Caucasian girl. She said, "You white people don't respect anyone's humanity but your own. You painted you you painted Hitler to be such this horrible. You know, Hitler was the bad guy in World War uh, Two, right? 
All right, y'all can have that, whatever. And he did such these horrible things, and and but you decided to drop the bomb on uh, Japan. Yeah, you wasn't gonna you wasn't gonna bomb uh, your 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 fellow precious Caucasian people, even in all the evil and all the wickedness that he done that you say he did. Such a horrible guy. You vilify him much more than the the emperor. Uh, I believe Japan had an emperor at that time. Than the leader of Japan. You are you hardly hear about the uh, 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 the demonization of of the Japanese uh, uh, leader, but hear all this negative wicked stuff about Hitler. But you didn't drop the bomb on um, Germany. All right, said uh, like he said, you white people don't re- you Caucasian, you so called white people respects no one's humanity, and you're not even human. But uh, scientists uh, have actually done studies. Where the 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 sensor in your brain, the receptor in your brain that caused you to feel empathy, says that they have found there are studies that when 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 so called white people see people of color under duress, under restraint, regardless whether it's it, it's that receptor don't go off, it doesn't light up. Like they'll see a little white boy or something. Her and they'll feel that that empathetic receptor will light up. It'll fire off in their brain. But let that same little white boy be a, a little a little so called black boy. It, it 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 won't fire off. All right. That's that goes from that uh that perpetual hatred. All right. That the Caucasian have against the uh the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American. That enmity. All right. And which is the which is the scriptures? The Lord said that. All right. That's written in the Bible. All right. Let me go back. It says, uh, the second lawsuit was filed Tuesday, the day before this incident. It sounds very similar to what took place in this incident. All right. So that was the point, man. You know, with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying list to the hopeful elect. Call her lawyer, Malaya, Hawa, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Kakodash, Shalom.